Home wall. He lifts it forward towards Rancourt. He presses it down towards James okay. Clark. Clark picks it up. Back to Rancourt. Back to Clark. Nice interplay. Back to Rancourt. Chance. On our oh, debut. Stan Rancourt start. opens the scoring for Bohemians. 2 1 2 is with uh, James Clark. Really good interplay. And the Estonian international announces himself to the League of Ireland with his first goal in the famous red and black. It's 1 0 to Bohemians after five minutes. Absolutely. Into the feet of Mali. And he scored a great goal against both. It's a great ball towards. Oh, it's a goal for Sligo Rovers. Oh, oh it's a. Came back off the goalkeeper, cannoned off. I think it's Reese Hutchinson who came up from left back. I'm not entirely sure, but. Uh, Fortuitous enough goal, but some good running, good hard running from Sligo, and they're on level terms. Yeah. Ball into the box, goalkeeper gets a fist well. to it. James Clark's going to try and get there, but he's beaten to it. And Hartman does really well, Hartman, Hartman, great fight, frees Hartman, oh. and it's 2-1 to Sligo Rovers on the cusp of half-time. The ball just squirmed underneath goalkeeper Kasper Jaroska, and from 1-0 down, Sligo are going to take a 2-1 lead in at the half-time break, Bose. Hold on for these three points, but James Clark has other ideas, he looks up, finds Miller, good Miller, good feet. Yeah, go, Dylan. Dylan Connolly, Connolly looking for James Clark, Clark header, 2-1! It's in injury time, James Clark rises highest in the box and heads home for Dylan Connolly's cross. It's 2 all at Daily Mount. And Bowles have maybe rescued this from the fire out here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, as we were saying earlier, it's a try to get Dylan on the ball. Hubert finds Boyce. Boyce open for the shot himself. Oh, what a finish from the Derry right back, Ronan Boyce, in the opening minutes of the second half. Makes it Derry City 1, Drahada United 0. No. Fantastic strike on his weaker foot too. He took it really well. We bit fortuitous the ball failed him. It's Duffy has just peeled away from behind Hayden. Kiana finds himself in a better area. The Mac uh, shoots a handball. McAnef still got the ball at his feet. He does stumble over, but patching! Oh, with a flashing shot, it's failed to Huben! And Huben makes it Derry City 2. Trotty United no. It was bought to do that kind of thing from Dundalk in the off-season. And he's opened his account here at the Brandywell in the 63rd minute. Derry City 2, draw to nil. Yeah, just instinctive from Pat Hoban again. Warren Davis standing over this. Number 24. And it's a flashing shot. Oh, it's a stinging goal as well too. What a strike. What, what a goal. A strike. I think it was Dara... Uh, oh, was that Evan Weir of all people? Who stepped up and fired it beyond uh, Brian? There's one free FAI Cups in one league with Pat Forrester. Right footed delivery into the area. Good effort there from Jamie Lennon. And Lennon pumps St. Patrick's Athletic into an early lead here at Eamon DC Park. Lennon with a crisp finish and it rattles the Galway United net, Ollie. Yeah, a bit of hesitancy in the, in the Galway defence here. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the St. Pat's player. So here we go then, it's Gullin, oh yes indeed, there it is, debut goal. Well he's not seen much of the ball to this point, but Dundalk's number nine. His positions up. count, Honahan close a while ago. In by Noonan, there it is, 1-1 one, one, and it's Aaron Green. The movement from the half-time arrival, the Dundalk defence. Ball down low. Trying to get Azamor on the ball. Azamor trying to get into the penalty area. Azamor gets the ball into the goal. And the goal what from Waterford. What a goal. What a goal. Azamor scores after just three minutes of play. Fantastic uh, ball from Sam Sauer to Dada Azamor. And what a start for Waterford. Uh, Waterford uh, withstanding everything. Ooh. Oh. Yes, the equaliser. It was coming. Yeah, it was coming. Um, it was coming. Yeah, Bert, uh, as we just said, Matt just took the words out of my mouth, uh, showing that bit of quality, and Waterford panicking a little bit at the back, uh, hitting a clearance off each other. And a